your test taking tip for number 31 is to not take time to read above or to skip to the very bottom to see can we answer the questions without wasting time in reading the paragraph above. We want to find the average time of the experimental group and we want to find the average time of the control group and it says the control group is greater than the experimental group. How do I know that? It's because it's asking us how much less time is the average for the experimental group. So it's going to be the control group and we're going to subtract the experimental group. Now how do we figure out the average considering that we have two different rates? Well, I know one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds, just like two minutes is two groups of 60 or 120 seconds. So let's add this up quickly. All right, so this first group I have 60 plus 46. The second is going to be 120 because it's two groups of 60 to create two minutes. Again, 120 plus 20. I have 60 plus 51. And finally, I have 60 plus 41. Okay, let's take the average of this. There's one, two, three, four, five data points. So we have experimental is 160 plus 13 plus 60 and 49 plus 120 plus 28. That must be fancy there. Plus 120. Seven plus sixty and fifty-eight. Okay, again divided by five data points, and I get one twenty-seven. So, how much less is the experimental than the control? Let's subtract them. Eleven. Correct answer is B.